Hello everybody, I truly hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we're going to be keeping this one short, sweet and professional for you as we're going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin charts, going over the really key levels using our technical analysis and how I am approaching this week of trading, which I truly do believe is a very important week. If we look at the stock market, we look at Bitcoin, we even look at things such as the DXY and gold, all of these markets are at critical levels right now and this is really decisive for the next few months to come. So I'm going to be going over my key levels here more locally on the Bitcoin chart so pay full attention and without further said or do let's get into what we love and that is of course looking at these Bitcoin charts so we can see here locally well, the last update that I done actually here on YouTube was back on the 9th so it was uh, you know just a, around a one week ago that I've last done an update so I want to briefly talk you through what's happened since then and obviously the new high that's made well, you can see the level that we're bouncing off of now, and I'll give you my perspective of what's to come next over the week to come. But of course, I want to start off with a little bit of education for you here and explain what went on here since that last video. And it was actually really simple indeed. We obviously had a few different, uh, we had a few different levels to be aware of in terms of our resistance and our supports. And really, this is one of, our, one of the ideas that I had. And it was while we were up at those highs, you can see I've kind of done this like members only live stream. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of this one, by the way, where we were looking at this with a little bit of a, and, I, and let me explain this in terms of like, so you can get into my mind. So you, rather than just me showing you, this was the prediction, this is how it's played out. Try and get into my mind a little bit. That's, that's going to be really, really helpful for you. So we can kind of see what I've had an idea of here, okay? This is obviously in a bearish opinion. As always in trading, you have to have a bullish and a bearish scenario, and then you will trade the one that plays out. That's very key and important. Of course, this is our bearish scenario. And we're kind of looking at it like this, a move to the upside to take out some highs, okay? In the end, this rejected off of the CC, could have come up to the point of control. In the end, we come up to the CC here, take out these series of highs, drop back down, then you're looking from this support area to flip to resistance before another move back down. So take highs, lows, retest, another drop to the downside. That's on this section of the chart here, okay? And then from that kind of idea, what we're looking at, this is how it began to play out. It was actually really nice indeed. So you can see you had that first move up to take out the highs, first move up to take out the highs, move back down, move back down, retest, rejection, you can see here you've got the retest and the rejection. Okay, so at this moment in time, you've got to be thinking to yourself, oh, very, very nice indeed. You know, you've got the idea of what you're looking at. You've seen it play out really perfectly. And then it's the case of waiting for the lower targets that you had indeed. Okay, and in the end, we did get down that. Okay, so as I kind of joking around here, some people call me the Picasso of the Bitcoin charts. We do a magic line and the magic line is, is followed. Una obra de arte. Um, but you can see here how we finally got down below below $23,000. That's what we were looking at here. Okay, below 23K, we obviously had this upward sloping trend line and a lot of liquidity, really important support zone. Of course, it's a zone around that 23K. And with that move to the downside, we did, of course, come down, take a bunch of lows, take a bunch of liquidity, and you did, in the end, find that support bounce, okay? And, of course, when you're coming down to those lows, such as $23,000, you've got to know that that's a really important take-profit zone, okay? Because that is, you know, pretty much the largest support zone down there, you know, below 23K. It's a very, very, very large support zone. So you've got to judge the reaction, obviously, in the end. You did, well, we can see what's kind of happened here as we zoom in a little bit more closer, Okay, you had a very bullish reaction and obviously bringing you up to new highs. And this is the next thing that I want to uh, explain to you before we're moving on to what's happening here, by the way. So just one more thing that I'd like to talk you through. So, of course, that was the first prediction. And the second one was actually with the help of Igor. So Igor actually <laughs> had this really nice 2000... Uh, really nice 4,200 uh, call on the ES. And this is from, you know, over a month ago. And he's been very, very patient from pretty much the lows on the stock market with a really nice target of 4,200. So in my mind, I've been thinking to myself, you know, Eagle's really bullish on the stock market in terms of he really believes this is going to go higher. We know the stock market is extremely correlated with Bitcoin. So if the ES and the stock market is going to push higher, there's a very large, very high likelihood that the Bitcoin is going to push higher as well. 
And we, of course, have got now been above 4,200. But at that, that moment in time, it was like I wrote to you all on Twitter. This was back on the 11th, okay, so nearly four days ago. I told you, I told everybody that I am only in a long and no shorts open from the range waiting for higher. This was my post within the group on the day. At the moment, this is the only trade I have open from the local range. That's obviously the long from 19,300 at the time trading at 24,600 almost, okay, times three leverage, okay. I've made it very clear at the moment that is the only trade that I'm in no shorts for me at the moment and I'm only going to take a short if we come back into the range or up for higher prices which in the end we obviously done but let me now explain this so why was I in no short trades and only in that long well the only real reason was we had seen no rejection at that moment in time and it was very likely that you know, that the ES was going to go up higher once more to hit Eagle's target, okay? It was very unlikely to leave those series of highs. And of course, now we've seen those series of highs taken, by the way, on the ES. So that obviously opened up a new short trade on Bitcoin. I have taken a few shorts over the past few days on Bitcoin, by the way. Um, but now, so that's talked you through the drop that we saw below 23K. Why we saw the rise in price? Well, in my opinion, the rise in price was heavily correlated to the ES move up, okay? The ES has been very strong. It's really helping Bitcoin, you know, excel here. And now finally we've come up to a level of resistance and this is one that i think you're going to find very 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 interesting indeed so if we come back on the 30 minute chart pay attention here 30 minute chart i'm going to come over here to where we first started to find some support okay so where we first started to find some initial support coming in okay and you can see this initial bit of support after a heavy downtrend We've only started to find a few hours of support here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull a fixed range of this first initial level of support Okay, so we can see, if we zoom in here, this is our tiny mini range at the time, but it was kind of downtrend, consolidation, continuation of downtrends. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to mark out, well, we can mark out the value area low here and the point of control. Of course, the point of control being a very significant level. Both of those levels we can mark out. Okay, so from marking out that point of control, we can go over to most recent price action and we can see how it has basically timed the high here, okay, from that mini point of control range. And I know sometimes there's always going to be this thing, why did price reject here? Why did price turn around here? Well, I can tell you the last two highs, you can see here, swing failure pattern, failed auction, back down. And this was actually really perfect. Let me talk you through this really quickly because it was brilliant. Okay, kind of a swing failure pattern, failed auction. We came down to the value area high and what was that confluence? Low to high at the time. CC, which you almost tapped to the absolute dollar there. So you came down to the CC to the dollar, then you've come up to the point of control here of that mini range to almost the dollar. Let me just put this in white so you can see it a little bit better. But you've come up to then that point of control to the dollar, and then today, oh, oh so perfect, you've came down to the daily level, which let me show you what the confluence is on this. You're going to like it, it's pretty amazing, uh, which was also confluence of the daily naked point of control. So I mean, Yes, it's been absolutely brilliant in terms of uh, levels that have been respected very, very, very nicely. And this was, you know, this is a pretty perfect reaction, a daily on the day, daily NPOC, like, come on, like, really, 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 really brilliant technical analysis. So, of course, if you're ready and waiting for such levels, even if you've taken it as a failed auction once again above the high, just like this was a failed auction, short position, down to CC, pump, here, you could have definitely done the same, short after the failed auction, take it down to the daily NPOC and daily level, okay, where you can obviously take a long trade off of this. And now you're going to see if we can reclaim the um, previous day point of control, okay, so either we'll get a rejection off the previous day point of control and search for lower levels, or we can get the reclaim and head back up to the previous range point of control here, okay, so it's, it's a simple case of having your technical analysis marked out, looking at the reaction, and yeah, it's as simple as that, judging the reaction, okay, so you can judge the reactions, looking at things such as the order flow, Okay, Th seeing things, so this is the level that I'm referring to, whether we're going to reclaim or not. Okay, and it's, just, it's as simple as that, having the plan, judging the reaction, executing. You're not going to win every single trade. Do not expect 100% win rates. You are going to take losses. This is trading at the end of the day. You're definitely going to take losses. But what you're after is like the long-term game. Actually, there was a really nice photo that I uploaded on Twitter the other day. Okay, um, da -da 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 yeah, like this, failing twice doesn't make you a failure. So yeah, you could even take four losses in a row, five losses in a row, and then go 10 wins in a row. So again, at the end of the day, this is a game of probabilities. You're not expecting 100% win rates. You've got to have your risk management in place. You know, trading is a game of probabilities. Even the best traders in the world can take a string of losses. Full focus on risk management and the long-term gains.
okay? That's why you've got to learn the proper way to trade. Don't be afraid to fail because really those failures and losses are the things that are going to give you the very best education at the end of the day. It's all about the experiences. And that's why we will say like to become a very profitable, consistent trader. It's no joke that you can easily have a 10 year sort of timeline because as you know, from experience and looking at different fields, 10 years experience inside of something is when you start to become proficient, so to speak, when things start to happen without even thinking. So, you know, if you're only trading for one, two, three, four years, and you're, you know, you're not ultra consistent at the moment, you, you've got to think to yourself, this is not a failure. This is not something to beat yourself up about. That is normal. Okay. And think of, think of yourself in 10 years from now. That's the goal that you're going for 10 years from now. That's when you can start to have this, you know, this is where you can start to draw the Picasso drawings where you just have things come to your mind and it all just seems so seamless, you know? So yeah, that's just something that I wanted to, you know, just mention here. If you, if you are taking some losses, don't beat yourself up. It's actually normal in trading and, you know, think of the long term, you know, that's what you're going for here, the long term picture. Uh, anyway, bringing it back to the technical analysis here, sorry. I wanted to keep this one short 10 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up pr briefly. So obviously we've got, uh, we know the reason why we're bouncing here and it's off of the daily level. And also that's a, an NPOC. So you've got two levels here um, on top of each other. Why we're rejecting from where we are, it's back up around that P PD POC. Okay. Key level, I would actually say is back up around the VWAP. Okay. Because if we pull this as our, like, like the range that we're in right now, Okay, you can see that you've got the range POC 24, let's just say 24,500. So 24,500 is going to be our key level of the overall range if we get back above this PD POC. Okay, if we clear that, we can be looking for new highs once more. I would definitely urge you to look at the ES. This is going to be absolutely key. I think the ES correlation is great. Keep an eye on the ES, keep an eye on Ethereum, keep an eye, well, of course, you're going to be keeping an eye on Bitcoin. And judge if we reclaim this, how it goes at the POC. If we're seeing strength on the ES, we'll come up, we'll approaching that POC, there's a high likelihood that we can break through it and get another new high here on Bitcoin chart. Okay, so for me, that's like really key what happens on the ES, judging that on the strength of Bitcoin. Of course, if we do start to break down here, a few levels that we can look at to the downside. First of all is the CC. I do kind of like the CC because it comes up with these series of lows. If we lose that CC, then of course, we have the weekly level here as well. Okay, so it's a simple case now of, you know, let's just say that you managed to get into that short position, really think you can have hit a take profit here off the daily. You can have also then taken a long trade off of the daily and NPOC. So then you're in now a short position from the highs, a long position from the lows. Okay. If you come up here, get a take profit one, crash down, you can keep the short open and close the long, of course. Okay. If this starts to pump up through resistances, you can close the short, keep the long open. So it's a case of you don't need to know what happens next. You're in a winning position either way, okay, and this is the great thing of trading, you can be in a long and a short at the same time, obviously short from higher, long from lower, and then wait for the market to show its hands, yeah, you don't need to predict the market here, you can wait for the market to show its hands, okay, and sometimes that patience is absolutely necessary and key, it really is, I'm currently in a short position on Bitcoin, Okay, and we'll see how this plays out over, over the next few days. But again, once again, I think if we can reclaim the, some of these levels, I am looking for new highs. You know, I'm not a perma bull, I'm not a perma bear. I will literally trade the chart, trade what's happening seamlessly in my analysis, seamless in my thought process. You know, I'm able to hold a bias and I'm instantly able to change my bias like that. I will change my bias on the anything that shows me a reason to change that on the chart, since that can be as simple as a reclaim of resistance as support. It really can be as simple as that. So hope you've enjoyed this video. I've tried to keep it fairly short. I've tried to keep it fairly simple. Again, if you want to learn more in-depth analysis, if you want all the ins and outs of tradings, then that's, of course, where we will teach you everything you need to know over on the website, chartchampions.com. Okay, obviously over here, you have live streams every single day for the members. That's live streams every single day. Um, of course, then you also have things over in the Discord. You know, this was a live stream update from like, you know, like I think I was doing this at like 5 a.m. in the morning. So you've got live streams if there's some volatility, extra special ones. You've got them every single day guaranteed. You know, there's a lot of content. And of course, on top of that, you've got all the educational material. And right now, if you're interested, you can also be in the chance of winning a free private session with one of our expert coaches. The only thing that you need to do to be involved in that is become a champion. That's for all existing and new members. You're in the, with the chance of winning a free coaching session. Everybody in the champion. That's a special promotion that we're running right now. 
Okay, so you can get over there on chartchampions.com for that. For everybody else, I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed the video. Smash that like button. It's always very well appreciated. Every single comment, every single like, I really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope I've able. Eh, I hope I have been able to provide you. Truly, I truly hope I have been able to provide you with some eye-opening bits of technical analysis, things that we're looking at, and how then you are, you know, judging this based off of their reaction. Again, if you want more in-depth analysis on, you know, real the concepts of reactions and things like that, then of course, that's what we teach over on the website. But again, those are like hour long uh, lessons. Uh, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you over in the discourse and have an absolutely brilliant day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Picasso says, uh, <laughs> una obra de arte. <laughs> Muchas gracias. And thank you. Goodbye, everybody. Oh, I'll end with this, I suppose. No, uh, no financial advice, just an entertainment educational video only. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.